And welcome to Flexible Games, where today we are going to talk about how to do a custom logo for Transport Fever. Now, after looking at all of the example banners that I've found, I've split up the source file into sections uh, showing all the different areas that you can change to put your custom logo in here. So this uh, Photoshop file will be available for download, uh, including all of the uh, guides that you have in here. Let's see if I can pull them up. There they are. So here's all the guides that I have. Uh, I don't need that one. Um, so this shows the outside and all of the little sections for your different text and logos. Uh, and you can get a good idea of where things go. Here is the one that I have in using in-game right now. So there's the large banner, small banner, small logo, small text, large logo, large text right there. Uh, you can use as much or as little of this area as you want. Uh, the game just uses these sections of the same texture file. Now, when you have a final set of objects in here, either logos or text or what have you, what you're going to want to do is uh, save all of that and whatever the primary color of like your text or your logos are, you're going to want the background to be the opposite of that um, due to uh, due to uh, the anti-aliasing that you get when you get really up close, you can see the background color really starts bleeding through there. So you're going to want a, uh, a contrasting color because white text sometimes is placed on a white train and you want there to be a little bit of contrast when you do that. Now, the, the most important step of this process is the alpha channel. And I'll, uh, I'm using Photoshop in this example, but I'm sure other uh, editing tools also cover this. So what you're going to want to select your the, the area that you're using, and you're going to want all of these uh, to be selected. So you can see I'm selecting all of my uh, objects in the logo. You're going to want to go to channels. You're going to want to go to new channel and that creates an alpha. And this is important. You're going to want to fill this alpha in with white where you have objects. This tells the game that all of this other stuff, this black back here, this is all transparent. So the only thing that will show up is your text. Now, when you save this, you're going to want to go to save save as and you're going to want to select the targa format so this targa format is what you want to do and when you save you want 32 bits per pixel and you do not want to hit compress do not hit compress but you want it to be 32 bits per pixel so when you save that out you're ready to go where to put it well that too is your option. You can either put it directly into the logo directory. So uh, C file, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, transport fever, resources, RES, textures, logo. You can put your TGA file, your Targa file in here and it will show up in the game. If you want to share it with others, you can make it a mod. A little bit more complex, but you need to go into the mods directory, and you got all of the regular stuff in here that Urban Games sent along. Create your own folder, create a, create a resources, textures, logo, and put your logo in there. And you're gonna want this mod.lua. This is what the game reads when it detects that there is a mod. And in here, you're just going to want this data here. Function data, return, and, and then all of these tags. And I'll leave this up for a second so you can pause and get a good idea. Or you can basically load one um, from the game 
and look at all of the different tags. It's really not very complex. Uh, nothing really major going on here. So uh, whether you add it as a mod or as directly into the game, uh, there is a lot of options. Now, the different items show up in different places. Uh, this small logo appears quite a, quite a few times. This small banner is also quite prevalent on uh, engines and uh, different vehicles. Uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of the small text here or the large text or the large logo. And to, when I did this process, I actually redesigned the logo that I've been using on my channel. So if you watched some of the later episodes of my billionaire campaign, you'll see this logo, this new logo uh, that I just designed um, on some of the on some of the trains. Might be hard to spot, but you'll you'll definitely see this smaller logo up here. That that appears quite a few, quite a few times. But yeah, that is how you create a logo with the game. And to select the logo, you simply load up the game and uh, essentially just select it from your finance window. There's a logos tab and you select it through that. All right, so in order to get a logo in the game, you open up your finance window, you go to logo, you select this box, and then you have all of your logos in here. My logo is in here twice because I have it both in the logos directory and as a mod. So it's in here twice. Uh, not a big issue with that. Um, but again, this is how you set your logo in the game. So that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.